delivering oneself to nature, living according to nature of the Stoics and of Rousseau, the sane mind, insane body, etc. Number one, who knows the objectives of nature and who would be capable of going against the natural? Number two, nature is not something so harmless to which we could deliver ourselves without shaking. Number three, the issue is if we can something against nature and if we can deliver ourselves totally to it. This is a part of a posthumous fragment from Nietzsche that was published after his death. So Nietzsche is pointing here to the possibility or impossibility of talking about nature as laws, laws governing our action and of the desire to align ourselves with these universal natural laws. He's questioning this because this uh, imp imposition of universal laws to oneself or to others usually forgets the co-creative aspect of this creation of the idea of nature. Nature, if we are part of nature, we are co-creators of it. We create a discourse and this discourse about what nature is, was, is not universal. It cannot be. Even the concept of nature is not universal. As an anthropologist, I know that most cultures of the world in, in in history, uh, tribes of Brazil and other uh, continents have not even created a concept from, of nature because the concept of nature of the West is based on this division between body and soul, for example, of the material and the spiritual and this division in itself is, is a way of framing what nature is or is not. And for, for Nietzsche, we are forgetting that when we say, oh, I want to align myself with nature, maybe we are forgetting that we are part of nature on the one hand, and maybe we are forgetting that we co-create nature or we co-create the discourse of what nature is. So nature is a discourse that has been used to dominate, uh, to, uh, has been used as a discourse of truth, as a way of attributing, as a way of exercising power. So we can't fall into the idea that we should align ourselves to nature. Uh, this, this is a created idea. This idea that nature is something ready and given and that we only align ourselves to. Uh, in this way, we have no co-creation of ourselves, of nature. And this idea has been used, of course, uh, to propagate power relations as people saw fit. And we also cannot fall into a, an idea that would be anti-natural where nature would be seen as moral, as good or bad, where the good nature needs to win over the bad nature. And this is only one of the false narratives about nature, that it, it is good or bad, and that Nietzsche says this is actually an anti-natural discourse. For Nietzsche, we're always part of nature, and of its creations. We are co-creators of nature uh, that we are also. And as he says, nature has no opinion about us because it's not moral. It doesn't judge. Nature is made up of multiplicities and multiplicities and relations. It is the relations between what we call the object and subject. You know, it's it's the between, it's the relations of what we call life with 
what we call spirit, with what we call culture. It's, it's in all of these. In many, many cultures, as I've said, and maybe in most cultures of the world, even the concept of nature has not been constructed because it doesn't make sense to construct something that is inherent, inherently part of us or that we are part of. So there is no, there is no uh, need to think of ourselves aligning to something that we are already. And it's also very naive to think that we should align to nature when nature includes many things such as things that go against our own lives. Uh, nature includes death, includes the possibility of going ill. So you're aligning to nature would could mean even going against your life, against yourself. So we do need to rethink the concept of nature, not accept that when we say nature, we know what we are talking about. Well, that's all for today. I hope you liked it. I want to thank all my supporters that make this work possible and see you next time.